Let us now get into the fourth structure, which is the strategic business unit structure. In this particular case, the business units are divided based on the geographical area sometimes. So each area, let's say Asia Pacific or let's say Europe, North America, Latin America, they have separate strategic business units as far as these areas are concerned. When that happens, the head of that particular division or head of that particular area becomes a profit center. So you need that particular profit center needs to provide profit to the organization from that particular area. Now for example Latin America, if there is a separate business unit as far as Latin America is concerned, the unit that is based in Latin America, the unit that is marketing in Latin America needs to provide profit to the organization separately. So profit from each of these divisions, each of these business units comes to the organization as a whole and as a whole the business organization becomes one single profit. So it becomes easier for controlling the business units because each business unit is profitable. If it is not profitable, the, to take a decision whether to operate in that particular area or not becomes very easy because if a particular area does not provide proper, proper profit to the organization, there is no point in continuing with that particular area because the profitability is not there. Or if the profitability is not there, the reason why the profitability is not there is easy to assess from that particular area so that whatever is the decision or the strategic changes that needs to be implemented or formulated for that particular area can be taken separately for that particular area. You don't need to take a strategic decision or you know, don't need to come out with a strategic formulation for the entire organization. Only that business unit or that particular area where the business unit operates, for that you can have a separate strategic unit. Now for example, let me just give you an example. McDonald's came into Indian market. When McDonald's came into Indian market, they, were, they had launched the beef product and the pork product. There were a lot of resistance as far as these products were concerned. Now, since it was a separate business unit that was operating in India, it became easier for them to take a decision to discontinue with the beef and the pork product. So when they discontinue with these two products, the resistance Resistance for McDonald's products came down. So the same decision is not taken as an overall decision for the organization. McDonald's does have their beef and pork product elsewhere in the world but not in Indian market. So because of the strategic business unit, it is an advantage to take a decision based on the requirement of that particular area where the business unit operates. Now McDonald's has become a very good brand as far as the Indian market is concerned.